Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hockey Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with some NBA 2K16 content today, actually. One of my, I think, I believe this is actually my first ever video of 2K16, which is pretty funny considering the fact that the game came out like six months ago. But uh, here we are in April getting out our first video, and we're going to be showing you guys how to create the Seattle Supersonics in NBA 2K16. Now, I'm doing this in NBA 2K16, my team. I don't know if you can do it in like just out of the main menu, like I create a team option, but I like to do it in my team obviously because you can get some legendary players and I feel like it's just easier you know you have to not easier but you have to work harder to get to it so that's what I'm doing here today and you guys can pause the video at certain sections by the way because I'm not gonna be individually going over every little thing so you can pause the video like right now and like check what you need at each, each section and this is gonna be based off of uh, the Seattle Seahawks or not Seattle Seahawks the Seattle Supersonics uniforms from 1975 to 1995 this is uh, the most classic look in my mind of the Seattle Supersonics, um, really when they had Sean Kemp and Gary Payton, when they were younger, this is what they wore, and then uh, when they went to the finals that one year, they did have the green jerseys with the red trim on the side, that was a little bit weird, and I don't know if a lot of people like that, as they did revert back to a more traditional look in the early 2000s, uh, obviously prior to them being relocated to Oklahoma City, but right here, again, uh, I do have different uh, images on here, so some of the people that I used were uh, Dragula15, that was a, a person I searched. Um, you know, you have, you have to search through images to find some of these things. You see right there, you have like the little arch. That was, I believe, from Dragula15. So those arches are obviously really probably the most essential thing. And then you see the Seattle Supersonics logo on the uh, left part of the, um, the thigh right there. And when I turn them back over again, you'll see right there. Yeah, the Seattle Supersonics logo on the bottom left. Um, that's going to be just from, if you keep on searching through the most popular images, you will find that eventually, and then you can hit, uh, you know, view what else this person has created, I believe, I forgot what the guy's name was, it started with the V, but um, yeah, so that that's one, That's those are the images that you're going to need, you're going to need two arches, you're going to need that logo, and then um, you're going to need the, I'd like to put the NBA logo up in the upper left, because that's what they had. And this is another guy that you can use if you want to like mix things up a little bit. He does have a couple of Seattle Supersonic stuff that you can add there if you really want to. Um, but he wasn't one of the, he didn't have one of the images that I had right there. Um, but again, like I'm like I'm gonna show you right here. You look at the, you look through the community uploads, and then uh, you'll find that Seattle Supersonics logo that I use as my uh, main court logo and that I use on the shorts. And I will also be showing you guys how to how to create the court that I made also. It's not extremely accurate in terms of like what the Supersonics um, court was because of the fact that it's just hard to kind of find images of it. And uh, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a mix of what I ho hope it's going to look like and what it has looked like in the past. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But uh, right here again, just showing you guys, and a lot of people really do post out Supersonics uh, images up there on the community upload, so you can find those pretty easily. And then I'll show you guys the green uniform in a second. Um, yeah, yeah, looking at Dragula 15 right here, you see the two arches, that is essential to this. You're going to need both of those, the green arch for the white uniform and the white arch for the green uniform. So uh, just keep that in mind because that is obviously essential. And um, I do believe if you look earlier, if you look back in the video, you'll see that the kind of the dimensions that I had for each arch. So you can follow that if you really want to. I didn't really do an excellent job on it, so you can adjust it if you really want to because, you know, it's just it wasn't very easy to do it because the way that the Sonics logo or the Sonics uniform was, was that it was kind of, it's just in a very difficult, it was created in a way that's very difficult to replicate in this game in my eyes. So right here again, you see, I don't even know what page this is on, but this Vasily Zaystev guy has nice images of the Seattle Supersonics. Those two right there are really nice, and I use both of those. So th that's really about it in terms of getting images. That's all you're really going to need. Everything else I was just able to use by the options that 2K16 gave me in general. Um, and, and again, the overlap of the arches aren't the greatest in the world. It's not exactly, that's not accurate to how it was. Uh, really, there was kind of a V shape, a V pattern that connected the back and the front. But it's just, I don't really know how to replicate that in game. It's very difficult for me uh, to, for do, to do it just right off the bat. I wasn't really going off of anything. I was just kind of looking at in pictures and trying to replicate it with my own eyes. So that's why I did it. Right here, you'll see a little bit of an orange tint, by the way, to the jersey numbers. I believe that's just, I feel like that was just the best way. I feel like a look, it looks the best in that way. It looks um, the most similar to how it looked in the you know 80s and 90s and a little bit in the 70s. So 
Uh, that's why I did that. And again, you can look at the dimensions to see if you really want it to look identical to how mine is. You can look at, <clears throat> excuse me, you can look at the uh, <clears throat> the x and the y values, and uh, you can obviously follow that. Uh, but I really enjoy the way that these jerseys look in game. Is you'll, I'll show you guys some uh, some kind of not really gameplay, but you'll see me just freestyling it on a, a Seattle Supersonics court that I created. And I'll show you guys that in a second. But again, but again, you can just pause the video at certain sections um, just to see if you're actually doing the right things and getting the right images in the right places. But you know, it's it doesn't have to be extremely close to mine is to what mine is. I just felt like the way that I created it was the most accurate uh, in my eyes of what it was like in the 80s and 90s and what they look like so um that is pretty much the green uniform i'm going to go into the arena here in a second um, and show you guys also the main colors that i use for this just green and yellow or yeah green yellow or, or kind of there's obviously a little bit of a gold tint to it um in some areas uh as you'll see at the bottom you see the logo at the, the on the shorts you know that kind of looks like it's gold right there but uh, really pretty much yellow it's just tough to kind of see um, but I, again you see the team branding we're gonna look at the team colors here in a second yeah just green yellow green primary green secondary yellow and the ter or is that, or is that say tertiary color green and you'll see kind of the sh type of sh types of shade that I have on the color right there again it's not completely accurate it's just kind of based off of what I saw so if you want a more accurate um, you know look at it you can do something you can obviously make some adjustments where you see fit and right here this is the arena that I came up with <laughs> it's not uh, obviously super accurate to what it was like they had a green outlining on the outside instead of that yellow but I just wanted to shake things up a little bit it makes it look kind of unique um, but I really like the the logo that that's that old school logo is really nice in my, my eyes so I just put the key arena also even though the next arena that Seattle will have will not be a key arena um, and the color, I actually, I, I actually really do like the green. I, I believe the green is really close to what the old school green was for Seattle. I, lo I love that green. Um, and you see, all again, you can pause the video and just look at what I did. It, not, nothing too complex really at all, but it looks really nice in my eyes. So um, I just put ESPN on the advertisements on the sides, by the way. So nothing too crazy there. And. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I just created the Seattle, uh, excuse me, the Seattle Supersonics in NBA 2K16. I have seen some other videos on how people actually created the Supersonics, but I don't know if they included uh, the court and everything in it. But if they did, uh, I just felt like they might, they may have not done it. Oh, I don't think they did it in like the 70s. I like this type of uniform better. I think somebody did it, uh, kind of the 2000 uniform. I like this, the 70s and the 80s, 90s look. Um, more more so than the early 2000s look. So that's why I did it. Um, again, not everything is accurate on the court, especially. I really just uh, freestyled the court for sure. Like, I just kind of put... I, I mean, the Supersonics on the sides, on the both, both of the baselines is accurate, but the Seattle Supersonics on the sides by the ESPN advertising is not accurate whatsoever. Again, um, this is what I use, just, just in case you guys want to see. Uh, I'm probably going to do more of this in the future, um, I've really been inspired by uh, the NBA 2K16 MT Madness thing. I mean, they've been doing some really cool courts with all of the, uh, obviously, college campuses at schools, North Carolina, uh, Texas, you know, Duke, Kentucky, all these schools. It looks really nice. And here's the court while I'm just kind of shooting around right here, Russell Westbrook right here, wearing the white Seattle Supersonics uniform. It looks so cool, man. I, I really like the color scheme that Seattle went with. When their team uh, was in existence and uh, hopefully it will come back into existence very very soon uh, very frustrating actually to ha not have the team in seattle right now but uh, again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more madden nfl 16 content and nba 2k16 content as i'm probably going to get into more 2k16 than anything in the future so once again hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and yep thanks for watching